Dr. Alan Mendoza is executive director of the Henry Jackson Society, and he joins us tonight. Uh, Dr. Mendoza, thanks for coming on. Um, a pleasure to be with you. So do you think we're overstating it when we describe North Korea as, um, as basically a prison? No, of course not. It is basically a prison. Uh, this is the, the world's most repressive regime. It is indeed a prison camp. You can't leave. I don't know what your last guest was, was sort of smoking before she came on, but I have to say it's the most extraordinary set of uh, uh, sort of points, disparate points put together in a, in, in, in a sort of a, a, a policy statement. Look, this is a state which exists and runs on terror. It runs on terror, it runs on torture, it runs on imprisonment, and it runs on ensuring that the the people who live there are at the uh, beck and whim of the uh, of the regime. It is it is indeed a prison camp. You're absolutely correct. So why the impulse? I mean, you've you've watched the reaction of the international left to a lot of these different regimes over the years. Why the impulse to defend, to side with, to make excuses for regimes that are indefensible simply because they hate the West? There is an extraordinary romance uh, that the left actually believes in when it comes to these regimes. It starts with the idea that actually we can convert these people somehow. Um, it, it goes along the lines, actually we have something in common with them. I think you're right to highlight the fact that the US is frequently uh, seen as the sort of chief enemy of these regimes is actually something that actually appeals to the left as well. Yes. And take those things together, you, you look at those two things together and you realize that you, you get a kind of complete opposite to what would happen if it was a right-wing regime. If that was the case, the left would be first out onto the street saying we must announce them, we must ignore them. But when it comes to someone uh, who is purportedly anti-American in that kind of way, they have a very different view. It's sort of strange, though, if you, if you live in the West, in the UK or in the United States, and enjoy the fruits of the society, why devote your life to destroying it? I mean, does only the West does that, right? Well, absolutely. And, and here you come to the crux of the matter, which is why is it the citizens of our countries who enjoy free societies, who enjoy the ability to argue, who enjoy the ability to discuss, will go out onto a limb to defend dictators, repressive regimes who prevent their citizens from doing that. It is yes. an extraordinary, extraordinary turn of events when that happens. What you should be seeing, what true liberals should be doing is arguing for the um, inhabitants of those countries who are subjected to human rights abuses, G getting them the same rights that they themselves enjoy, but you don't have that at all. No, it's a good point. It's why fathers should be nice to their children, otherwise they'll grow up to be progressives. They'll hate you, and they'll make a whole politics out of it. Alan, thank you very much. A pleasure. Thank you. The Democrats' FBI memo is not out yet.